After a heated Sioux City Council meeting this evening, the city is a step closer to ending a more than decade-long ban on pit bulls within city limits. KCAU 9 reporter Rebecca Pryor was in council chambers when the first of three required votes passed four to one. She joins us in the newsroom tonight and explains where the issue goes from here and why the topic is so emotional for so many people. That's our top story at 10. Rebecca? That's right, guys. It was one of the most contentious city council meetings that I have ever been to. Almost every seat was filled. Both sides of the issue very passionate about what's going on today. In a dog-eat-dog -dog city council meeting, one after the other, Siouxlanders were stepping up to the podium. The vast majority of speakers wanting the ban gone. They're clowns of the dog world. They're just the most amazing breed. But three wanted it to stay. Bulls are dangerous animals. I'm going to stand by that statement. One of those in favor of keeping the ban was one of the people responsible for creating it in the first place. Former Sioux City Council member James Rickson says enacting the pit bull ban was one of the best decisions that he made while in office. It was controversial at the time, but we did the right thing. And if we save one child from getting hurt seriously by a pit bull, it was worth it. In 2008, the ban passed unanimously, citing a high number of pit bull attacks as the reason behind the ordinance. However, today, data shows there are far less pit bull bites than before. There are other dogs out there that I know bite, and when you have 5% are pit bull bites and 95% other dog bites, that's telling me something. So why are they getting uh, the bad rap? But council member Pete Gretkin, a former Sioux City police captain and the one lone vote to keep the ban in place, interprets that data differently. Before the ban took place, you had probably two to two and a half times more of an opportunity to be bitten by a pit bull. So I think there are a lot of people who are honoring the pit bull ban. But many argue the ban doesn't actually get rid of pit bulls. Instead, it just keeps them in hiding. And there are pit bulls still in the city. And they're, and the people who have them are terrified to reach out to anybody for any of those resources because they're banned. And just teach people how to be responsible pet owners, talk about training, offer classes down at animal control, do things like that. Even though the initial vote passed in favor of lifting the ban, there are still two readings left to go. I hope that the city council will continue on this path and that we still get as much support as we have. And I think once this becomes more known in the city in terms of what has happened because of the van, more people are going to speak out to keep the van. Well, both sides obviously have very opposing um, stances on this particular issue. Most of them do agree that pit bulls should be allowed within city limits if it's a service dog. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.